Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am currently trying to think of different projects to make for Christmas gifts and I have a lot of friends and family who vape so I thought I'd make these for my friends and family. They're handy because they don't lose their vapes and they're always crying out for it. So let's get started. We're going to be using a 4mm hook along with our King Cole Cotton Soft Crush yarn. I'm using Willow and it's 100% cotton. I'm also going to be using these little beads. You don't need to use these, I just thought it'd be a bit of more fun. And a needle to weave in those ends. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot. Pop our hook in. Then we're going to chain up three. We're then going to put 12 double crochets into that first chain that we made and the chain two does not count as the first stitch. So our double crochet is yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop, through two and through two. And now you just need to finish making 10 more double crochets and I'll meet you back at the beginning. So remember to pause the video whenever you need to guys because I know sometimes you need to catch up and that's absolutely fine because I speed ahead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet that we made. So not into the top of the chain but top in, into the top of the double crochet. Now chain one and for the next round we're going to make, be making single crochets and we're going to go into the back loop only. So skip that front one and go into the back loop of that stitch and make your single crochet. And then continue that all the way around. So just one single crochet in each back loop of the stitch. I'm going to continue doing this in real time for you. Let me know in the comments below guys if you prefer it if I speed up or if you prefer it if I just go in real time because I'm never too sure on which one you prefer. So comment below for me. And that is our last single crochet done. So we're now going to slip in, slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet that we made. So not the chain, but the stitch. I always find cotton yarn hard to work with because um, I'm normally working with acrylic yarn. So bear with me guys. Okay, so slip stitch there, we're just going to turn it into the right way and we're just going to chop off that little tail end because we worked over it. We're now going to chain up one. And we're going to put a half double crochet in each stitch around. So you should end up with 12 half double crochets. Okay, so the half double crochet, we yarn over, go into the stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn over through all three. If you don't know how to do these stitches guys, I have got tutorials on my channel, which I will link to just above here, and you can click on those whenever you need to. So that's the last half double crochet done. I'm now going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet that we made, not into that chain. And then what you want to do is you want to chain up one and continue working those half double crochets around for 14, a total of 14 rows. So I will meet you when I finish my 14 rows. So I've now finished my 14 rows and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet that we made. And now I'm going to start making the drawstring part of the vape holder. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to put one half double crochet into that same stitch. 
I'm then going to chain one and skip a stitch and then do a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then you just want to repeat that around. So chain one, skip a stitch and half double crochet into the next one. I'm going to complete this in real time for you so that you can crochet along with me. So now we're back at the beginning, we've chained our one and we're going to skip that stitch and slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made. So now you can see the little holes that we've made, the little gaps that we've made to put our drawstring into. We're going to chain one and we're going to put a single crochet into that same stitch and then a single crochet into the space, then a single crochet into the top of the next stitch and a single crochet into the space. That's what we're going to repeat around, is one single crochet in each space and one single crochet in the top of each stitch. So you should have a total of 12 single crochets. Got left is our last chain space which we'll put a single crochet into and then slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet that we made. So now we've completed the main part of our vape holder we need to make the strap so we're going to chain up 100. So 100 chains and then I will meet you when we've done that. we've made our 100 chains we're going to fold the bag in half so that we have one side of the strap on one side and then we're going to skip across to the other side to slip stitch so you just want to go straight across so make that slip stitch then we're going to chain one and cut the yarn leaving a longish tail so we can weave that in and fasten off. So you could leave your bag like this if you wanted to, you don't need to do the drawstring part if you don't want to, you could just leave that as it is, but I like to go that a little bit further, so I'm going to just first start by weaving in that end.
So there we have it. That end is nicely weaved in. And we're going to start making the drawstring part of the bag. So we're going to grab our yarn yet again and make a slip knot. Pop our hook in. And we're going to chain up 41, but we're going to make them tight. So every time we chain, we're going to pull tight and then chain and pull tight. This way we know it's going to be nice and tight and it's going to last a long time rather than coming undone when people are using it, which is not what we want. So just make sure you make those nice and tight. done our 41 chains we're just going to cut the yarn pull that through to finish off and pull tight and there we have it a nice little cord for our drawstring bag now grab your needle your yarn needle and pop your cord onto your needle grab your bag and what we're going to do is we're going to see which way we round we want the front. So you want basically two of the holes at the front so that they can come through, the cord can come through those two holes. So we're going to go through the front and just weave in and out of those holes. So now we're coming back through the front, we're going to keep our yarn on our needle and we're going to grab one of our little beads, I'm using these little wooden beads, you can use whichever ones you want or even just go without. So I'm going to just simply pop it on and pull it onto that cord, we want to go over the chains, take our needle off and then make a simple knot. And we want the knot to be on the end of that chain. So not on the single strand of yarn, but on the end of that chain. Then we're going to cut the yarn so it's a little bit shorter. And just repeat that on the other side. those beads slide them down to the end and they won't fall off and there you have it a cute little vape holder so you can just pop your vape in and then pull those tight so that it doesn't fall out to go just a little bit further because I always like to go a little bit extra as I just said I'm going to make a little tassel on the end just to give it a bit more flair so to do that really easy we're just going to grab our yarn and we're going to use three fingers and just wrap it round now you can wrap it as many times as you want I'm going to do around 16 15 16 times maybe um just go with Go with your gut and see what you like. Then we're going to cut the yarn. Holding on to that wrapped part, we're going to cut a long length of yarn. 
and then feed that through the center. Bring it up and then tie a knot. I'm going to tie a double knot just to make sure it's really secure. Then you want to hold on to those two lengths and cut the bottom. And that is your tassel made. Really easy and simple and quick. And if you want to, you can even bring it down to the bottom. So bring your fingers down to the bottom, see if it's even. If it's not, just snip it across and make it even. Now pop those long tail ends onto your needle. And you can attach it just like so onto the bottom of your vape holder. Or keeping with that wooden bead theme, I'm going to grab one and pop it on the tassel. Then slipping one of those tail ends out of the needle, we're going to pop our hook in the bottom and feed it through to the other side. So the other side of that little ring we've got there. Then grab your other tail end and tie them together in a knot. As always, do a double knot to make sure it's nice and secure. Then pop one of the tail ends onto your needle. And what we're going to do is feed it back through that bead. So pull it a little bit so you can see the little hole on top of the bead. And we're going to just feed it back through. Then do the same with the other tail end. So onto the needle and feed it back through that little hole at the top of the bead. smooth all the tail ends down between two fingers and you can see a nice neat edge and just snip off those two tail ends and it's complete so cute boho themed I love this yarn it's absolutely gorgeous and it's great to gift to someone who vapes <laughs> they're always losing their vapes <laughs> at least the people I know who vape are so a great Christmas present, birthday present, or just a gift to get them to remember where their vape is. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys, let me know if you did in the comments below. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.